her colleague from the Union County Democratic Party to support her by saying that she knew nothing about the house that her husband Richard was building down the shore with Habitat for Humanity's help. We talked to the architect that actually designed the plans that we showed you last week that included a yoga deck, that included that bamboo infill paneling and five bedrooms. Well, that architect says that Linda Stender was present in the meetings where they put together these plans and designed the house from scratch. You gotta wonder what a guy living on his own supposedly would, would need with a yoga deck. With us here today is someone who knows Linda Stender better than us, first-hand experience with her. Dr. Martin Marks ran against Linda Stender as the Republican in the 22nd District, candidate for assembly. Martin, thank you very much for being Good here. Good to be here. Marty, thanks for being here. So the first question is, is this, in your opinion, knowing her, is this a pattern? Is this isolated? While this uh, Habitat for Humanity story may be the sexier issue, I think it's important for your Chasing News viewers to understand this is a long history. Linda Stender has, uh, by virtue of her political involvement, has been feeding at the taxpayer trough for quite a while. And she was a municipal official. She was a Fanwood mayor. She then became a Union County freeholder. Uh, when she left her freeholder job to become an assemblywoman, her former colleagues on the freeholder board appointed her as the director of volunteers at the formerly county-owned Runnels Hospital at a, about a $66,000 salary. And the latest, of course, is yet again another former colleague on the Union County Board of Freeholders, Dan Sullivan, who's now the executive director at the Union County Improvement Authority, has appointed her as a deputy uh, at a $90,000 job. Tell us a little bit more about Richard Stender. Was he with his wife in some of this benefiting from her county position? Yeah, as a matter of, that's a great question. Uh, Richard uh, had a, a printing business and of course the Union County Board of Freeholders uh, uh, gave him some some work. This is a long-standing walking talking conflict of interest without a doubt. Marty explain how it's a conflict of interest in your opinion. Well here's someone by virtue of their political connections and the power of their office gets to the front of the line for taxpayer funded jobs. You cannot tell me that Linda Stender and others like her are the best qualified for this position. But with all due respect, you did run against her, so it's not surprising that you would be very critical of her, but at the same time, some of her colleagues are now dropping like flies and not defending her. Well, I think they're being cautious, but you know, even though that I'm a Republican and I ran against her, I will tell you there's plenty of Republicans out there that use the power of their office in order to line their pockets and to get these jobs. So she may be the, the, the queen of, of this conflict today, but there's others like her out there. So Alex, there's a there's an investigation that is ongoing. So you're gonna to continue to chase this and we'll see what the next detail is. Absolutely we're gonna keep delving deeper just like you suggested. All right. All right. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. Good to be here. Awesome. Monica, you're chasing the story.